You can tick off items in your visual timetable throughout the day and also drag and drop things if things change throughout your day. To make any changes or to edit your timetable, click the arrows in the top right. From here, you can either add existing items into your timetable or you can add new items. For example, here I'm adding sport. I'm going to search for an image. I could add my own image, but I'm going to search in the existing library of images, find an image that I'd like, and then click add. I can then add a color to that item. So I'm going to choose purple and then I'm going to click the plus button to add it into my timetable and get rid of geography. To add a default link to your timetable, you can click on the left hand side where there is the defaults button. And from here, you can add a video or an app or a link that you would always like to appear in that timetable item. So for example, for Crunch and Sip, I might always want to have this calming music track to appear. Let's look at another example. In your phonics lesson, you might always want the Word Builder app to be available. So if I come down into my phonics item, click the defaults, click the apps, then I can search for the Word Builder app, add that in, and then that will always appear when phonics is in my timetable. As well as default links, you can also add specific links for specific days. So for example, on this particular phonics lesson, I might like to add in a CBC Word video. I might also need to link to my Google Slides or to a slide deck that I have created in the Hive. And for my maths lesson today, maybe I'm needing number of the day, so I'm going to add that in. I might also link to my maths lesson slides for that day. You have the ability to connect to videos in the Hive, to slide decks in the Hive, to any resources or apps within the Hive, as well as any link and any website that you might like that is external to the Hive as well. Your visual timetable will remain on the right hand side of your screen. You can always hide it if you need to reduce distractions at any time, or you can click the pop out and this will then make it its own separate little pop out. And this is great if you are opening up other websites or other programs on your computer, but you want to keep the visual timetable visible.